Guys, it's here. Justice League. We got an early screener. This is our non-spoiler review. If you'd like to see our one-hour-long spoiler discussion for this four-hour-long film, click on that video. But I'm going to keep it separate from this one because we don't want anything spoiled. This is just our impressions of this huge, big, long release on HBO Max and from Zack Snyder that you guys made happen. So I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank our sponsors, G Fuel for keeping me up <laughs> watching all six hours of Justice League yes six hours I watched in preparation for this I watched Joss Whedon's version two hours long and then Zack Snyder's epically long four hour version maybe you can see what I thought about it in my reaction right now guys thank you so much for watching I want to thank G Fuel again this supports our show if you click those links down below engage with it grab your own tub of G Fuel it supports us thank you so much for doing so and yeah, here is our non-spoiler review. Hopefully you enjoy. Guys, the day has come that we thought would never arrive. A movie studio said... You were wrong. We will allow you to finish your vision, Zack Snyder. And here we are today. Zack Snyder's Justice League has released. So the big thing is, me as a big Superman fan, all the marketing, all the hard work from the fans who have who got this thing together, some like hardcore people are pushing them hard, and they allowed it to happen. And let me just say... 10 out of 10 for simply fixing the mustache. The mustache is gone, forever gone. It's in our nightmarish memories. It's no, it's not. In that mustache. It's, it lives oh. in your brain forever. forever. Right in my brain. Fuck you, Joss Whedon. <laughs> uh, that was worth it alone. I want to thank everybody who was crazy about calling for the Snyder Cut to get this thing released. Um, the, because this was insane. Uh, the, the, the question you're going to ask up front, is it better than the Justice League, Joss Whedon slash Zack Snyder Frankenstein cut? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It is better. <laughs> it is better. <laughs> it is. Let me, let me, because this was a four hour monstrosity, yeah. it is fucking Epic, okay? Let me, but I had to write it down because it's hard to maintain four hours worth of information in my head. We just finished watching it and we want to get this review out to you as soon as the embargo lifts. So, what I wrote in summary of the whole film is uh, Is it better? Yes. Could it have worked in theaters? No. no. No, not at all. No. Uh, and does it even work as weekly releases like they wanted to do? No. This is really the only way it works. So I'm happy that HBO Max exists so that this can then exist and we can see the original vision of Zack Snyder in its entirety. $70 million budget to get the rest of this film. So before this thing came out, it was two and a half hours of footage, he said, was in the cutting room floor that he used here. And he said five, hour, five minutes of new footage. This thing is, no, it's two, two and a half hours, two and a half, two hours, 35 minutes of new footage. Because we ain't never seen this shit. Mm -hmm. It is a completely different story, guys. Completely different. There are some common scenes in there, but it's completely different. So here's what I wrote. This has way better fight sequences Way more context to everything, obviously, if it's four hours long, but it is improved visuals, way more of the, you know, <laughs> moaning chords music, which some people find annoying, some people find, you know, epic. Um, and But let me just say, what a huge difference to allow the character's time to breathe. You can say this is very character-driven. Uh, you can really feel as well the build to the invasion. You really didn't get that build to the invasion in Josh's cut, uh, Whedon's cut. This one you definitely do. And there's tons and tons of patented Zack Snyder slow-mo. There's a, Even if there's no need for slow-mo, there's slow-mo, right? And it gives the film an almost dreamlike quality to it. 
Um, there are some bad things, and we'll talk about that. But let's uh, get your guys' opinion. So that was my opinion. I think that it was a much better uh, cut of Justice League. What did yeah, you guys think? Yeah, in four think? hours, I realized it did take Steppenwolf some Time to take those cute those mother bo- or boxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other one is like, oh, he got everything. He got him okay, instantly. cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this was a lot better. I like the action scenes were better, and some of the intros were kind of creepy. Like intros. Uh, well, the introduction to uh, Barry Allen and uh, Barry other ones. Oh like yeah. Like okay, we got to talk cool, about that like, scene. That scene did that's not creepy, work. Creepy, but the, uh, yeah. four hours long. It was so much to let's, digest. But, uh. Okay, so let's make this review right here a little shorter one, non-spoiler, Spoiler right? Sure. And then we'll cut it and we'll have a whole separate yeah. video yeah. to do spoilers discussions. It's going to be long as hell. So this video, uh, just uh, non-spoilers, uh, just wanted to let you know. Sure. Yeah, so uh, even with that, we still get the characters to breathe a little bit, but I still didn't feel the team chemistry or anything like okay. with them or anything. Um, mm. But... Okay. I did enjoy it. Though. All right. Yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed this much more than I thought I was going to. Mm-hmm. I wanted this to be good because I do. I don't. I'm not one of those. I'm. I'm Marvel. I'm DC. It's like I love entertainment. Entertainment, <laughs> and this is popcorn style film entertainment, yep. and it kind of fulfilled on all of that. I do agree that this this movie does not work. It was doomed from conception as a, the- a theatrical release. It can never work because you do. It showed us in four hours. You do need these really long introductions to yeah. these characters. You can't introduce Cyborg as a character in a movie and then go, this is the Flash yeah. in the character's movie. And you kind of, you know who Wonder Woman is, you know who this other person is. Also, we have to bring this guy back. We have to do all these other things. You just don't have time in two hours, two and a exactly. half hours. It took four hours for him to do it and it was it was done pretty well, but it wasn't fantastic. About as best as you can as you do can, it as you can hours. in four hours. And so this felt like two movies that needed to, they got smashed together and even then I was like look we need some more filler scenes I needed yeah. Justice League 1 and I needed Justice League 2 the way that there was Infinity War yeah. 1 and an end game after the yeah. fact I watching this 4 hour scene I was like man I needed more and yeah. that is not what I expected I was like man 4 hours yeah, yeah. is way too damn long it's like no this is yeah, a story I needed more I wanted more yeah. here's the thing is uh, you hit on it perfectly where it's like part 1 part 2 but honestly that that was the plan originally he was going to have Justice League part 1 and part 2 but part two was going to be Dark Side's invasion. Mm-hmm. Part one is Steppenwolf's first plan, mm-hmm. right? But it feels almost like if he wanted his full vision, that shit would be four parts. Four movies. Okay, sure. because part yeah. one and part two here needed part one and part two just for the fucking Steppenwolf yeah. invasion. So basically, yeah. I can understand. I can see some of the behind the scene studio stuff going on here. Like the studio's like, Zach, what the fuck are you doing? We got like, time for this Condense man. this <laughs> yeah. shit, man. He's like, no, I want to do these characters justice. This is how I want to do it. I've earned my spot. No, we can't do this. Zach, you need. And then there, and then all the feedback. Oh, the DCEU is too dark. It's it's too mopey. It's wrong. It's the colors are off, which is all legit criticism that came from me as well. And and the studio, I think, was giving getting a wanting a, building an excuse to get rid of Zach. And then when the tragedy happened to Zach, his daughter passing away, committing suicide, he left the project. That was the separation. And then they brought in Josh Whedon, who basically took all this stuff, mixed it yeah. all together, redid some stuff, reshoots, which led to the mustache, which led to the just terrible things. And he injected his own comedy and and, and shortened the story and and said, oh, well, there's not going to be a part two. There's not going to be Dark Side. There's not going to be uh, this, is this it. injustice, <laughs> this is it. which, by the way, injustice shows up in this film. And that's where they were headed with Zack Snyder's version. Ah, oh, fuck. Here. Uh, Injected his own comedy. Inject his own comedy, and Zack Snyder basically, you know, it's completely different film. It was a uh, oh, for sure, <laughs> <laughs> a shortened up version that that had lots of different plot points, and ultimately, it felt that way when we watched it. It felt, you know, just junky and clunky. And here, it's not, cl- it's not clunky. It's just bloated it's just long it's just uh the breadth of content is is huge 
but it takes so long to get started. And I think that's because DC ultimately picked the wrong strategy. Yeah. Whereas Marvel had the right strategy of let's give each of these characters yeah. individual films so that you know the context of that character. So we don't have the weight on our shoulders when we do the combined film to explain exactly. each of these people. And Zach, and it's not Zach's fault. It's WB's fault. Mm -hmm. And so when Zach was given this, he's like, here's how I'm going to do it. And then and then the studio's like, no, we don't want you to do it that way. He's like, but you chose me and this is how it, this is the only way it's going to work. So it was a fucking mess. So from this to come out, uh, you know, like this, uh, a superior version, a character driven version, a visuals that are better. I think this film pays. Here's the most important to me is it paid better respect to Superman. I liked fucking what the return of Superman. I liked the black suit Superman. Oh. I liked uh, still best scene ever. Best scene ever <laughs> still is still the, the from the original the the, the Flash yes. where he's running in Superman <laughs> season. That doesn't change. Uh, they add some more scenes to that, and so bless your freaking heart, uh, Zack Snyder and all the fans out there that got this made because we got to. I got my wish. I got to see Henry Cavill. Reprise his role technically one more time. Uh, we don't know what's <laughs> happening after this, but we got additional scenes, right? And I was, I wanted to, I was like, oh man, this is fucking great. I was into it until the very end, but we'll talk about that in spoilers. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it was a, a victory for uh, Zack Snyder for filmmaking and for <laughs> the Justice League characters. Uh, the character in particular who uh, won the most was Cyborg. Oh, yeah. Cyborg, I actually give a shit about Cyborg in this. They didn't There's dirty the first so one. so much. Right. Joss Whedon, like, shit on Cyborg. He didn't give a fuck about the Cyborg character. And ultimately, his audiences didn't give a fuck. You remember when we reviewed it? I was like, I don't care about Cyborg. I like Cyborg. And uh, you <laughs> yeah. even like Cyborg, but everybody agreed that he's like, sideline didn't have like shit to do here he's got shit to do he's got way more ties with his father he's got way more integrations in the story and he should be because the original thing is these mother boxes are all a part of the same technology the justice league doesn't fully understand it but you know victor stone is the link because he was made from the mother boxes. it's not just cyborg though because i think that flash got treated much better here too yes i think that they adjusted there's a scene in the original where the Flash is running around town trying to help the family that no one cares about at yes. the very end, and yeah. Superman is like catching mm. up to him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, look, we get or how powerful Superman is. Yeah. There is zero reason that Superman needs to be as fast as Flash. He doesn't need to be there to invalidate everyone on the team. He needs to be there to be like the leader and like the most powerful one, sure. But I felt like they kind of invalidated Flash. Here, Flash has things to do, and they show how the Flash, I don't know if you've ever read, his is insanely powerful. Like, just the things that he can do yep. as far as, yeah. you know, with, with the Flash Force. And that's shown here. And it's shown here. And they did a really, a much, much better job with the Flash in addition to Cyborg. Yes. Fantastic. And uh, just, oh God, I love the visuals. I love the extra context. All the awkward shit. I realized a lot of the awkward jokes came from Joss Whedon. Like, the whole... The alien invasion. They captured my husband and they probed his butthole. And then and this and like it was on I TV. And I'm like, what totally the fuck about is that? that? You remember that? Like I, I, know. I, I, I rewatched <laughs> Justice League two hours in preparation for this. Four hours. I got four. I got six hours of Justice League. Right. <laughs> so a lot of the jokes uh, were so were kind of weird and awkward. And the hippo was Superman and the fucking mustache and the fucking. <laughs> shit. I hated oh, it all. Yeah, but the humor is still here but though. Humor. Yeah. So I was going to bring that up is that, you know, surprisingly, this is a lighter tone than Batman v Superman. So our criticism was like, it's getting dark, it's getting dark, we're going too dark. I don't know whether Zach was course correcting because WB had told mm -hmm. him to course correct, but they bench, But this was lighter than the last movie. But that doesn't mean that that's changed what Zach's wanted because it is definitely going dark. And there are still really dark elements here. This film is darker than Josh Whedon's, but... In some ways, it's not as dark as I expected it to be. There are moments of uh, jokes and banter. Now, one thing, so I'm praising the film. However, there's one thing, and I'll be perfectly honest, this is my opinion only. I think the team banter was a little off in uh, you know, part six and seven as we get into the, the team dynamic. 
the team dynamic in Joss's version was a tiny bit better, at least the back and forth jokes and way they're interacting. Here, and maybe because I'm used to watching that one and versus this one, but a lot of the, the jokes between the individual teams <laughs> didn't really pay off, oh, didn't yeah. really have uh, the funniness to them. And I've written specific lines here that just don't, it, they, they don't make you laugh. It's just it's a little awkward. Um, let's see. For example... Uh, uh, Batman is like trying to repair his ship, and Cyborg's like, I, I can get that to fly. She wants to fly, and he's like, So, you know, she flies, and she's like, So do you, or something like that. It's just, it's just little awkward <laughs> yeah. little things and like that. Honestly, that, none of the jokes landed. Yeah, really. none of like, the they, jokes they landed. There were a few cool, that landed, but, no. but none of them landed. So, Josh, what I'm saying is Whedon's version had some funny lines and some really cringy lines. Here in Zach's, they were, they, you know, <laughs> none of them really did anything. He was making attempts to make yeah, some it's light It's getting of it. dark. Somebody tell a joke. It didn't work. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, while as Ezra, oh my gosh, we're going to have to go through um, each each character because the characters are It'll so important to, next one to this one. This so, one. um, let me just say that the story in the previous one is all about Steppenwolf and this weird thing about the mother boxes being actual mother rather than having anything to do with too much with dark side and too much with the anti-life equation, some of the original stuff that we've seen in countless DC animations. Uh, Zax was far more faithful to DC Universe, DC animation films, DC dark side stuff, the new gods, the old gods, all that stuff, and the mother boxes. And so in that respect, I really, really, uh, you know, appreciated and enjoyed that, especially, you know, Black uh, Suit Superman, even though he kind of, you know, <laughs> we'll talk about it in, in the future. But I really liked it. Um, <clears throat> but let's now talk. Do you have any good uh, other good things to say about the film? How did you guys feel about the pacing? Because I think that uh, it's hard for a four hour long movie, but yeah. I think that chapters six and seven went really fast, not just because there was a lot of stuff happening. I just wish that we had more time so, you know, Justice League happens, right? The, mm -hmm. the good guys get together. Spoilers, it happens in the <laughs> Justice League movie. And you don't get a lot of chemistry in them. And that, that's mm -hmm. expressed in the dialogue yes. being kind of awkward. And the fight, like, there, there, there's some scenes of them together, but never at, we, we weren't, we didn't get enough exposure with them as a, like yeah, a as cohesive a unit, unit mm -hmm. for us to feel like, man, this is awesome that they're finally together. It was more, right. they rushed through that at the very end. It's like, look, you got yeah. me for four hours. They rushed Give me four hours and 15 minutes. Give me four mm -hmm. hours and 20 minutes if you have to. And actually flesh out the good parts. Yes. Yeah, good. There are pacing that. issues here. I even wrote, it loses steam a little in the fourth part around the Lois and Martha scene when yeah. they're, where they're talking to each other. And then, then we took our intermission, which, by the way, you're going to need to take an intermission. <laughs> yes. I suggest you take an intermission. We took our intermission right at part five at about two hours and 22 minutes. And while I'm feeling like, okay, we're about to get to the end here, and then I press the pause button, and you see that fucking bar, yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, we're halfway through. We got an all another half to get here, part five, basically. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, oh, uh, well, I'm in for it. But I've always said I want it to be as long as fucking possible, right? So that didn't upset me. I was ready for it. Um, and I was really, really happy to see that all, all the um, the fight scenes had improved. Uh, but let's now talk about uh, some of the... Oh, uh, here's another thing. Uh, one of the improvements is Joss's version had this weird Russian family plot line. You touched yeah. on it a little bit, where Superman and Flash had to save this family. Permanent he set it up all throughout the film, the second half of the film, and it broke up so many of the parts of the Justice League team action that it w that when you see Zack Snyder's vision, you're like, this is superior. For sure. The Russian family didn't need to be in it at all. It, it was completely pointless, and it was awful. It's the Avengers formula, though, because he had followed it. He does that before where it's like, look, the, there's a huge power gap in, in the, the, Whedon, the, the, the Joss Whedon version where... Honestly, Superman can take care of himself and can yeah. take care of everything on his own. So it's like, what are we going to do with these other characters who I've kind of invalidated by how pow powerful he is compared to the other ones? They're like, we have to give them something to do, which is something he's done in, yeah, in other yeah. movies so where yeah, it's like, send them a little errands. Yeah. You know, you know, you're the Hawkeye of this movie. You yeah. have to go <laughs> save the Russian family. It's like, are, are, are seven billion people going to die? Yes, yeah. but those three or four are really important. The plans are better. The fights are better. Every single big fight, every single big action sequence and cool sequence. Were, was better. 
and not only from a visual standpoint, but also from a uh, logic standpoint. Some t it fixes some of the logic flaws in, in Whedon, and it might not be Whedon's fault because he had to superimpose all these different things and cut it down and, and cut out all the context. But I felt like it was superior uh, in, in that. But when I was watching Whedon's version, I put good team banter and then in Zach's version, I was like, the team banter seems off, mm -hmm. you know, when we were getting there. So anyways, um, <coughs> it's it's surprisingly uh, in the action sequence. Nobody holds back. Nobody holds back. We'll talk about that in spoilers. But Wonder Woman is the is the comic Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is the, the animation Wonder Woman. Yeah. Not no fucking Patty better. Jenkins I Wonder Woman. This one, way this one will like, yes, fuck you that's up. That's what I wanted. If you, you piss her off. And that's what I see mm -hmm. Wonder Woman as. So just fantastic. Uh, let's talk about some of the things that maybe it, it doesn't get a, as right. Is there any things that you feel the film was weak on? Uh, the team chemistry for me. Uh, yeah, well, another po positive thing. Uh, yeah. Batman. They actually did him justice. Yeah, we're not. Like, we're not. We're not. We're not done with positives. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing with Batman. This one's like the other one's like, oh, you guys don't need me. This and that. I was pounding the other time. It's like this one is like actually giving some purpose. He's actually doing something. It's like it's better. Remember like how him. much he got his ass kicked yeah, in and Whedon's <laughs> version? Like when I rewatched like, Whedon's man, version, do you hate he does Batman? jack. <laughs> Shit, yeah. he fucking gets his ass handed to him all the time in fights. Here, he's kicking some ass. Well, they also cut out the unnecessary forced tension between him and Wonder Woman, yeah. which is like, as we're talking about, I'm starting to remember the bad parts of the original, and that mm -hmm. was a big one. It's like, what is this weird scene? That's why the forced like, tension. It's not, it's not not here at all. So. Exactly. In fact, uh, Snyder kind of pushes the button. They, they touch the mouse at the same time while they're looking at it. They kind of push the button of, hey, are these guys maybe attracted <laughs> to each other kind of thing? So, no, because yeah. the only joy she's ever known in her entire life is a dude she met 85 years ago. Well, see, that's <laughs> why I actually like the Whedon version where, where ba she comes at Batman hard and Batman fucking cuts her down in the Whedon version. He's like, oh, yeah? Well, where have you been? You know, that guy that you, yeah. oh, the guy that you met for two weeks and you've, you've been hiding this whole fucking time. And she went, bam! And I was like, no, b bitch, Batman's right. Yeah, he, You're he's, fucking he's correct. wrong. Don't tell me the truth. You know, and she's <laughs> like, love and this and that. And he cuts her down the side so much. So I actually like that scene upon reflection and rewatching it. That's lacking here. Instead, they don't, he, he never really mentions the fact that he's like, where the fuck have you been this whole time? You know, and she has been in hiding, which was a little bit of a plot hole, but that's might have been from, you know, the yeah, universe. Right. So With the other anyways, negatives. Yeah, go ahead. The other negatives for so, me. So were, that was a positive Batman was better yeah, for yeah. you here. Mm. The negatives were kind of like what Alex was touching upon uh, whenever we see them together. It just felt rushed, and I finally see like a bat, and like they're kicking ass together. It's yeah. like, oh, that's badass. I want to see more of that. But there wasn't a lot of chemistry between them, and yeah. some of the intros to these characters kind of cringy. Yeah, I didn't like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna Spark touch on it? You gonna say? No, uh, no, we got the, uh, there, there's there's a, a, no. You can say the flash, in, the flash yeah, intro the flash scene is, didn't work. No. No, yeah, it no, didn't work. not. We'll at talk all. about why it didn't work. Was like, it was okay. cringy it was and awful. Like, what are you doing? Like, I think we all agree. So hard to be funny. I was like. Just as no, can we like fast forward on yeah. this? Yeah, so that was. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I mean, this is it, it's hard to say that I think that this this version did almost everything better. Yeah, um, but again, I, I, this movie would not exist in a movie theater. Like if we weren't at the time of streaming four hour movie yeah. where it's acceptable to the mass audience, this does not work. And I wonder, I'm curious to see, it's like, let's say in that theaters, it doesn't work, but in our current streaming format, yeah, it but, does work. But they made, they, they had started planning. They started filming. They wrote True. everything. Fair, fair. Before this whole thing happened. So fair. if he's like, I need four hours to make this movie work. What is the two hour, two and a half hour version of this movie look like? Mm -hmm. Is it, it, would it be as flawed as what we got? Oh, yes. And yeah. I think that, that we, there's a there's a couple unnecessary scenes in here. Ones that really go a long time. We touch on like the whole. There's parts with Martha. There's parts with Lois. Mm -hmm. Like the the secondary characters that we honestly focus a little. On, oh. Yeah, we focus <laughs> a little bit too much on those things, and we can cut that. But then you still have another hour to cut out of this movie, and we need those scenes for context because you're introducing new characters in this movie, and it's almost any. Uh, we saw what happens when you cut out all of Cyborg's intro. We so, didn't like Cyborg. Now so, I like. Now Cyborg. we like Cyborg. So. <laughs> Um, I, I think that he did almost everything is done better yes. in this version. Yes. But we are critics, so let's try to get some, some negatives in here. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it, and there are some <coughs> bad things. Music. 
Music here is worse than it is. You in didn't the like the Finnish uh, singing s- scene that yeah, went on so a really long there, time. <laughs> there's a lot of these weird, awkward very, uh, yeah. songs. There were some awkward songs in Joss's version mm. too, but uh, there's many. also <laughs> songs here, and not just that. But there's no throwbacks. I loved hearing that original uh, Batman theme, and I loved hearing that Superman theme. The notes of that really mixed in there in Whedon's version. You don't get that here. You get the throwbacks to Man of Steel soundtrack, which I like as well but that was also you know in Whedon's thing so the music wasn't quite as well um, I did and, and then I kind of like the team banter in Joss's version so I wrote that down and then I agree with you Joe that Batman is uh, a better fighter here and he but honestly he loses a little bit of that always being a step ahead in Whedon's version. In Whedon's version, he always has an answer. He always knows what's going on. He is the definitive leader. You know, says something, it's done. Here, he's way more, like, cooperative. And, you know, it's like, oh, what are you, you're going to do that? Okay, let's do this, you do this and that. And it's just a different version of, of, of Batman here in this one than it was in, in Whedon. So, um, <clears throat> let's go in, in the individual characters. There's six of them. Because uh, Green Lantern obviously isn't here, and I think Zach was intending to introduce that later on. Uh, so just the individual characters, uh, let's talk about, and then we'll give a final verdict. So I think Superman, in every way, was done better. Uh, just more respect to him. Now, the thing is, me as a Superman fan, I'm getting impatient here. I'm like, okay, part one, part two, he's not here. <laughs> right, part two. But when he comes, he comes, you know, he, he, you know, with purpose, and it was better done. I did like the original line, uh, you know, I'm for uh, truth and justice, right, when he hits him instead of, I'm not impressed, is kind of what he says when he, when he shows up and stuff. So... Uh, I like. I think Superman was done better. I think Batman was done better in everything, but he seems a little uh, less like he has everything I- I- planned out already, which is fine because I think in a team you should be malleable and you should be, you know, things. But there was a few times here where Batman has this no do it anyway. Uh, and yeah. it's a section to him, which is going to lead to the injustice storyline that they basic that Zach has been teasing. So, so sometimes Batman seems a little off to me. Flash, I actually, while Flash's powers and and his his um, purpose uh, was better in Zack Snyder's. His comedy and his likability is way better in Whedon's version. That's the one thing that that I, I, I've i noticed between them. Okay. In this one, he seems awkward. His jokes don't land, except for the jokes that were in Whedon's as well. And it's just a little different. But by the end, I still liked him. It was just a different path. The, the Whedon path, I liked him right away. And he, then, then he dropped off and didn't have anything Disappear, to do at yeah. the end. This one, it was harder to like him, but he is powerful as fuck. And it is. So it's just a different flash. I'm not saying it's you know worse. Just the likability is a little better. Uh, Wonder Woman, I like this Wonder Woman way better because she's just kicks more pop. Ass. Kicks <laughs> fucking ass. Does not hold back. Yeah. Uh, doesn't have the stupid kind of banter that she kind of had with Batman in in Whedon's version where they're all pouting at each other and shit like that. But uh, even though it had purpose, uh, it, it's it's good here. And then Aquaman... Uh, it was kind of indifferent with that one. Yeah, Aquaman was kind of the same. Uh, you know, didn't have the lasso scene where he's like, oh, we're all going to die. So they, there's a little less jokes. Whedon's version yeah, made him a little more likable. And this one, he was way more serious, just party boy, kick ass. And I guess we had to wait till Aquaman... Uh, to to start liking him, so he was about a, a wash. Cyborg, I liked way better, right? Um, did I get everybody? I think I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, in the end, almost every single character, except for like one or two, is better or a wash. So, uh, that should tell you something. So, let's go ahead and um, make this one short and our uh, spoiler section huge. Yeah. <laughs> let's go with final verdicts. Final verdicts for me. <laughs> Oh, let me just say one more thing. uh, Lois had uh, better parts. I think that Lois wasn't done as well in Whedon's version, and she was way better here. It's kind of weird. We'll we'll talk about it in spoilers, but I was like, it's just a weird scene. We'll um, talk about it later. But uh, I'm probably going to give this one probably seven. Okay. 
for me. Now, uh, I just want to let everybody yeah. remind everybody of original verdicts. Uh, when original, we were, original. When we were drunk, <laughs> original, original, we were drunk. We hung out with uh, uh, Nikki, and we had a bunch of drinks. We had some friends. So we were like, we just want to that laugh and be better and, and have it be lighter. We got our ratings wrong, and I feel bad <laughs> about that. It was like well, seven. Now, we rated it like a seven Now it's eight, a seven. <laughs> right? But then when we re-reviewed it and watched all the DCEU films ranked, it was the worst one mm-hmm. when we rewatched it. Four out of ten. So now you go up three points from yeah. four, five, six, seven. Seven out of ten for Joe. Yeah. Uh, the fights were way better. Uh, it was still kind of cringy with the music and uh, the introduction to some of these. These still didn't have the chemistry that I wanted. Yeah. Uh, left me with some questions mm-hmm. at the end. It's kind of weird. But overall. Yeah. Like, even, it's but, like. Uh, but again, I gave it a seven also because it's like. Four hours is like, are you going to say, hey, let's watch this movie. Four hours. Yeah, it's tough uh, to get this together and watch is. with friends. It but, is. I mean, we did it. But, yeah, I'm glad I watched it. It's still, I, I still enjoyed it, but seven overall. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm right about there. I, I really I enjoyed this one far more than I thought I would. I'm glad that there's a lot more footage. Ultimately, I think the storyline, it hits the, all the same story beats, so you're mm-hmm. not going to be super surprised by anything. Mm-hmm. So you kind of get to compare them as close to apples to apples as you can because not you know it's not wildly different. Yeah. You know, there's not you know no meteors coming to Earth or anything like that. So the the major beats are still there. Um, it was it was very long, and for something that is that long, I I did expect a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I know he didn't have the opportunity to film more, and they were doing the best they possibly could. But we can't. I don't, I'm not going to take that into consideration. That is not on my, my, the burden as the consumer or the critic for me to bear. That they couldn't, you know, get this thing figured out before. There are a ton of scenes in this movie that didn't need to be there. There was a couple scenes that needed to be extended. And there's a lot of things that needed to be worked on. So if we compare this to like everything in the DCU, like we would every single movie, it is above average. I don't think this breaks the top three in DC. Mm-mm. Um, it's definitely in the top half. Um, so I think that it's probably, yeah, I could say the, uh, it's about a seven. It's a, it's a good movie. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, I think I like this one may, way more than y'all. I'm, I'm trying to go between an eight and a nine. I'm trying to taper my excitement for how well Superman was handled and, and how, <laughs> much extra context and goddamn Zack Snyder knows how to do action scenes he knows how to do visuals yep. that's what Zack is good at and because and he's not that great at the story and I felt like the story lacked in Whedon's version but here the story was closer to what I've seen before in the comics and in DC animation so I'm between an 8 and a 9 I think ultimately I am going to go with an 8 because of some of those limitations you know it's, it's 4 hours long does this work as you know the you know in the, this and some of the comedy was a little off, and and, uh, and 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 you know, like the music and some of the things that I will talk about in in the spoiler section. But I just love it way more the fact that there's dark side in this. Now I have my own problems with the way dark side was depicted, and maybe he would be fleshed out in future versions. And here he's more like a brute, but he's still that powerful dark side that I know. Um, Sweet lasers. But there's just it's just way more <laughs> appropriate to the universe that I'm used to. Uh, and then also there's an eight in there. I can't go nine because I'm thinking shit. Here we go. Uh, the direction that I fucking hate and I all, always hate injustice. And that's what <laughs> where they were going with this and where Zach was taking it. Now that's not to say that if it, if it does happen, do I don't know if this film can do may force that to happen. Uh, you know, get us to get uh, Zach to have a part two, you know, and do the Injustice storyline. And I'm, I'm saying for, for those of crazy Zack Snyder fans that are about to shit on me for saying, like, I don't like Injustice, I <laughs> might like it if it's done well enough. And you can do Superman justice and he can become a hero again after being evil, though in the comics he's just fine straight up evil. Uh, but anyways, um, so I see the potential there. And if it was done as well as this was done and Zach was allowed to finish and, and do his part two, I'm for it, right? I would like to see, I, I, I'm just interested so that I can get an opportunity to shit on it or I can get an opportunity to enjoy it because I think Zach's visuals are good enough to, to, that I would be interested. Do I think it's going to happen? No, <laughs> I, I, it sucks uh, because I, I do, no. you know, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Who knows? Maybe if this is super popular, 
you know, they could do multiverse and they could say, Zach, you can have your own injustice and we can do all these other films. But honestly, I'd rather see what they also set up here is they also set up Ben Affleck's Batman, which we know we're never going to see. Mm -hmm. And what they plant the seeds here, I would have rather have seen Ben Affleck's Batman than Robert Pattinson Batman. Just from, from hearing about both ideas, I would much rather have ba Ben Affleck's Batman. So that tells you something. And then, so I would want to see Injustice. So eight out of ten, superior version in almost every way to, to Whedon's version, making this uh, a, a Justice League that is uh, that I was hoping for and waiting for. It's just the directions that they chose aren't the directions that I would have chose. Like spending Superman's death so fucking early, uh, bringing in Dark Side so early without individual films, and then you know getting that Trusty. out of the way. Uh, or Steppenwolf, <laughs> um, which by the way I like the Steppenwolf's redesign here. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the way he looks here as a CGI bullshit versus his previous CGI bullshit. Um, but he's a little bit more of an unintelligent brute compared to Whedon's version. But I still like him better in Zack Snyder's version. So 8 out of 10. Let's go and uh, talk about all the different spoilers. So yeah. well done, Zack Snyder. And I'm hoping that uh, this might actually lead to something because he clearly is setting up. He, he clearly did extra scenes, right? And you've seen it in the trailer, okay? So it's not that huge of a spoiler that Batman meets Joker here. Yeah. And uh, they're setting something up, and I would like to see it pay off. Just re-sign um, Henry and re-sign Cyborg. Yes, then... if this leads to Henry being re-signed, this is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, it's an 8 out of 10, and we'll talk more in spoilers. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, grab your tubs of G Fuel now down below want to thank g fuel for uh keeping us up watching hours. six hours no, i watched oh, six hours six. of justice league you did so. it to yourself <laughs> i know but uh thank y'all so much and uh, uh thank and we'll see you in the spoiler section it's gonna be a separate video because it's gonna be long yeah. all right bye guys bye guys